Michael Dev, uh, founder and CEO of R Solution Technologies. My name is Arvind Sanjeev. I'm the chief technical officer of R Solution. Our product is called Fin. It's basically a small wearable ring you can have on your thumb, and it has the capability to turn your hand into a digital interface. So whatever gestures you make, Fin recognizes it, and it triggers the necessary activity on your phone. Uh, I'm born in a small village, Cochin. Uh, it's the southern part of India, and my uh, mom is housewife, and uh, dad is uh, doing a small business. Actually, from my age standard, uh, I know about the computers and all, and. Uh, I got a chance to use the computer and from that uh, it's, uh, I feel it's very crazy and I started building a lot of software uh, till my first year of engineering. My parents, uh, they're um, working as scientists uh, back in India. They work for the central government there in the biochemistry department. I started off uh, when I was a kid. I used to get uh, you know um, scolded upon my parents all the time because I used to break all these remote control toys and all these cars, take the circuitry out, mess with them, try to make something else. So I'm a pure hardcore hardware geek. I build drones, hovercrafts, all this kind of stuff. Fin is a Bluetooth enabled device which has the capability to detect all the natural gestures you make in your hand. For an example, if you are jogging or something and you need to change the soundtrack, normally what you do is that you need to take the phone out of your pocket and uh, take the media player change the soundtrack. If you're having Fin with you, you can just choose gestures like swiping gestures to change the soundtrack while you're running. We came to Hardware Battlefield because we thought it to be the best platform we can use to showcase our product because uh, it's primarily focused on hardware startups so to bring them up and give them a, a cool platform to showcase on. We think we can win in uh, hardware, TechCrunch Hardware Battlefield because Fin is a very unique product in the market. There is no other product like this. And you know, Fin can make a lot of crazy things around the world. Welcome back, and here we go. You guys have six minutes on the clock, starting cool. yeah. now. Okay. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. My name is Arvind Sanjeev. I'm the chief technical officer of Archer Vision, and I'm with my CEO. Hi. He's Rohil Dave. So, have you guys heard of the expression "the world is at your fingertips"? I mean, is it really so? So, I'm gonna say right now, it is going to be. So, I'm gonna address two main problems we are all facing now. The first thing is that all the smart devices right now in the market focusing on touchless technologies, they require the user to be in a particular line of sight or move in a particular posture or a particular gesture so that they detect it. And also, another thing is that, have you noticed that a user, even for simple uh, notification checking or things like that, takes their smartphone out of the pocket? And we found it on a research that a uh, user takes like 200 to 300 times a day. That's like taking the phone out of the pocket, like in and out, in and out, 200 times. Can you imagine that? That's crazy. So these are two problems we are trying to addressing. And we have come up with a revolutionary product. It's called Fin. So Fin is a small Bluetooth enable wearable ring you can wear on your thumb. And it's simply magical because it has the capability to detect all the natural gestures you are making with your thumb. It essentially changes your palm into a digital touch surface. So all the gestures you are making while wearing Fin immediately gets mapped to your smartphone and it triggers certain activities on it. So I'll give you a few use cases. Imagine you're jogging with your phone on your pocket and uh, you know, you're listening to music. If you need to change the soundtrack, normally you have to change, take the phone from your pocket, take the media player, hit the next button. That's just tiresome, right? So imagine you're having Finn with you in your finger. While jogging, you can simply use this gesture to change the soundtrack. So I'll be showing a small demo of the Finn right now with our functional prototype. So uh, basically, this is a music player. Actually, we are controlling the music player with the fin. Uh, this is the prototype of the fin. So we can just swipe to change the song. You can say, just swipe to change the song. Uh, control the volume like, just swipe like this. And go uh, next, previous, just swipe to go, pre uh, go previous. Actually, I can play the song, yeah. So Right now, we are having four basic gestures in this yeah. demo. This is for going to the next track. This swipe will take you to the previous one. And this one enables you to change the volume up or down. So let me say a few more use cases of Finn. 
Imagine you're driving with your phone in your pocket. It's actually, you know, illegal to take out a phone out of your pocket in some, uh, while driving in certain states in the United States. So if you are having Finn with you, you can automatically use this gesture to take up calls, change the soundtrack, increase or decrease the volume, etc. Yeah. Finn also is pretty handy when it comes to taking presentations. You can use gestures remotely to t change the slides, stuff like that. It can also be integrated to smart TVs where you can use gestures to change and browse to the channels, increase the volume, etc. So right now, we are having the functional prototype with us, but it's a bit bulky since we are using DIP components. Yeah. But as you can see, in the final form factor we are achieving, it will be having all SMD components right in the same form factor as you can see. So it will be working based on a motion sensor, IMU. It will be having optical sensors. It will be having Bluetooth and a microcontroller. So it has the capability to map all the uh, I mean, movement and attitude of the finger in 3D space. And it takes that data and sends it to the smartphone. Yeah. So the smartphone recognizes the gestures based on that and it triggers certain activities based on the gesture it identifies so this is how how fin's going to work out and also fin is purely unique in its own way this is because fin offers multiple device compatibility this is because Finn has the capability to identify different portions of your finger. So what Finn essentially does is that it tags each portion of your finger to a particular activity. So you're assigning this little finger over here for deciding which activity you want to control. So we tag each portion to a particular device. One portion will be for controlling smartphone activities, the other one for controlling smart TVs, and the third one for controlling head-mounted displays. So it's purely unique because you can use natural gestures to control many activities in all these three devices. Finn also has the capability to uh, be used in biometric systems. It has the potential to be used as biometric authentication systems because we're planning on adding fingerprint detection and a whole lot of other features so that it can be used even in home automation in the future where the user can simply use fingerprint to access or lock or unlock his doors, etc. It is also pretty helpful for visually handicapped people where they can use gestures in order to control the activities on your smartphone and stuff like that. So Finn is going to be launched Indiegogo today. It's coming out at a $110 uh, price on Indiegogo. So uh, our campaign essentially aims at creating maximum funds at a $100,000 goal. And we are going to use those funds in order to get a final manufactured product out. We use this funds in order for further development and also for getting the final form factored Finn, as you saw on the previous slide, out on the market. We'll also be releasing our final SDK for and APIs for developers by the mid of 2014. So what this is going to do is that it's going to help us create a whole ecosystem of applications around Finn. So tomorrow, another developer might come with a home automation application with Finn. The next day for a driving application. The next day maybe for taking photos remotely with your phone and a whole lot of other features. So we're asking everyone to back us up on Indiegogo. It'll be really great. Please visit wherefin.com. Finn, wear the world. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Very good. So who wants to wear the world? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what applications will this ship with? Uh, so right now, we have created applications. Uh, we have a gaming application. We have yeah. a media player application. And we'll also be integrating certain driving applications so that while you're on the car, uh, there'll be a particular application which allows you to take calls, uh, change the soundtrack, all the volume, etc., all the basic st stuff you'll need. What sensor are you using for the uh, gestures? So basically, we have a bunch of sensors. We have IMUs as well to track the activities. Yeah. We'll also be using optical sensors. We'll be giving coordinates while we are swiping. So it gives a basic mapping of the entire palm while once you're swiping. So like an optical mouse sensor? Oh, yeah. Not, not really an optical mouse sensor. It's uh, more focused and advanced because it can also be integrated with biometrics. So it's not the same thing. What sort of biometrics? So it will be having the cable to detect the fingerprint. Oh, fingerprint. Yes. Oh, yeah, because it's truly unique. Each portion is truly unique. So it will be able to identify that and tag each portion to each particular activity. Yeah. What do you think the cogs are for that? I'm sorry? The cogs on the one? The cogs? The, the cost of goods? Cost of goods? The yeah. BOM? Or? Sure. Uh, the BOM and right now is something around um, $36. So. Yeah, but it's not without the uh, you know mold and stuff. So just the basic material. So after Indiegogo, how do you how do you plan to get to market? 
after Indiegogo, we'll yeah, be... We, uh, we are planning to uh, partnership with some distributors and manufacturers. Actually, now itself, we have contacted some people in China and all. So uh, that's why we got the BOM and, and the manufacturing price and all. So mid of to the, actually, the plan is mid of 2014, we are launching a basic gesture device for developers and all. And end of 2014, we will release a full features product to the uh, end customers. Have you guys built a product before? Sorry? Sorry? Have you built a product before? No, no it's hardware, first hardware, hardware, product. hardware, before we build first software, hardware just for base applications. Who's going to convert your prototype, which nice demo by the way, uh, to that final product that we saw? So we have yeah. actually submitted the design. We were planning to bring a final prototype over here, but our manufacturing company in India wasn't able to get it out in the required deadline. Yeah. So uh, within about two to three weeks, we have submitted the design and they'll come out. It's a company in India. Local company, it's just for getting a few prototypes. After that, we'll be submitting the design to some manufacturers in Shenzhen, where they'll be able to replicate that. Actually, we, uh, we need to manufacture flexible PCB and all, so the resource in India is very, uh, it's very difficult. Yeah. Uh, that's why we need to contact uh, China guys and all to even develop a prototype uh, in the form of ring. Um, in terms of your go-to-market, how are you planning to sort of rise above the noise of a lot of different people taking different attacks at sort of the same problem? I mean, you have armband devices, you have watches, you have, so they all want to control your phone, they want to interact in the same ways. How are you going to make this? You know, uh, you know, in the market, a lot of gesture-based uh, gesture devices are in the market, but uh, the, all the devices are, we need to do some stress to interact with the system. Or, or even to raise the hand. You need to hand. act in a particular way, yeah. or you need to, you know, stress your hand or muscles in a particular way yes. in order to get that working. Well, you know, the thumb it can accessible to anywhere in the palm, and just you can just put your hand freely and. It's completely do all natural stuff. gestures. Yeah. You don't have to learn anything or stress it out. It's just normal movement. You, you, you know, use from, every day. You know, from our child, so we are learning like one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. So we're always using our fingers yeah. for everything. And also, it's also unique in its own way because it's the only device that offers multiple device compatibility. So yeah. we'll be able to get connected to smart TVs, head-mounted displays. Because yeah. if you're having a head-mounted display and you know, you, if you're in a crowded place, using voice commands is you know useless. Yeah. It'll make you look crazy. So if you're having Finn with you, we can just you navigate using through the menu with the applications and stuff using Finn. Even if it's in your your hands in your pocket, you can actually use Finn to navigate. Yeah. yeah. And if you are using uh, smart watches, yeah. you can just use one hand to navigate everything. Do you so envision otherwise. other form factors for the fin? So right now we are just focusing on this one, yeah. but we need to test it out, how it's going to work out, and after that, if there's any changes, we might consider that up too. I mean, yeah. it's a pretty foreign concept to do that. Like, have you guys done much Yeah, user we have testing? some 3D min printed models in mm -hmm. order to test the form factor and the yeah. comfortability on the user. Unfortunately, we, we had it mislaid, so we couldn't bring it out here. It's a 3D printed model, so we tested it out with some users, how it's uh, feeling, its uh, usability and stuff. So it was gave this, a pretty good feedback. Yeah, the same, deal, uh, the same 3D model we are also providing through Indiegogo. So uh, people can wear and we will get some feedback. And how about for us Mediterranean cultures who talk with our hands? <laughs> <laughs> I think how do you think you reject? It'll be, uh, it'll be more York useful for them, maybe, you know. Yeah. They can stop talking and use their fingers for everything, a, you know. A yeah. new kind of drunk dialing, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how, often does the, uh, how often does the fingerprint or uh, optical sensor turn on? How do you, how do you engage? Because you're not sampling all the time, are you? Once, once we tap the finger, then only, actually, once we tap, tap the finger, it will recognize and it will capture the image. So the sensor is always on? No. Uh, when uh, we are touching the finger, then only the sensor on. Oh, there's a contact. Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, we can easily recognize uh, if you are touching uh, in the palm. So some uh, resistance or something. Can you wear 10 of them? 10 of them? Oh, yeah. yeah. All, all your fingers yeah. control all the devices. You'll be going all around the place. It's controlling drones, TVs. Uh. I'm pretty sure they'll give you hand no. to answer. No. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not you saying you only one feet. Oh, yeah. You need Just only one clarify. You'll be more than satisfied with one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, so. Very good job. Thanks.